Even after toiling away for so long, those without talents can easily get surpassed by those who do. But in this cruel world, should we give up that easily? Anna gives her answer in this song. Infinitely Grey has already been out for more than a year and it never ceases to fascinate me with its pure emotion and lyrics. Today, I'll be analyzing one of the focus songs of this channel's mascot. In an interview with Suri, the producer behind Infinitely Grey, he mainly says the following. The singing power and the character backgrounds are very fitting for the song. It makes it as a whole very realistic. The feeling of being stuck is emphasized and expressed through the water sounds, symbolizing a pit of water where no light reaches. The sound of paper being rewritten was also included to show the emotion of frustration and futility. Infinitely Grey is a very powerful song and it means so much to me and many people. I bought the single and it arrived at a very pivotal time, one in which I will talk about later. The sound of the lonely rain draws you in and the chorus leaves you in awe at the sheer amount of emotion poured into those moments. To put it simply, the song is fantastic and you will be hearing a lot about it in this video. Let's first talk about the instrumental, handcrafted by Suri himself. People may say that it's instrumental that of a Minecraft intro that comes from the EDM that Suri added to the chorus. I actually agree with that point, as it's supposed to evoke the same feeling. It wants your attention. Like how flashy and supposedly eye-catching Minecraft intros are, they want you to look at them. The song primarily has two parts. I'll call them grey and colorful. The grey part feels lonely, just like how Anna feels when no one recognizes her art on social media and real life. While the colorful part is the culmination of her feelings being released out into the world. All of her determination, frustration, and desperation bursting out into song. Rain is also associated with tears. While writing this, I hit a writer's block. I had listened to too much Infinitely Grey and something struck me while I was listening to Tricolage. The thing that differs Infinitely Grey from the rest of Nigo's catalog is the vocals. It feels like they are almost in tears while singing. Jackpot Sad Girl is frustrated at the world, while Infinitely Grey is frustrated at itself. Anna's inner turmoil is shown in the lyrics where she debates with herself whether to close her art off or scream. It exposes you to what is going on with Anna's thoughts throughout its lyrics and melody. We know of Anna's struggles. She works so hard on her art that it doesn't seem to reach as many people as she wants. We've all been there and know how painful it hurts. However, an internal problem cannot be fixed by an external solution. Even if she gets 1000 likes, when will she reach a quantifiable number that satisfies her? It's like those who get plastic surgery, thinking that one round can fix their self-esteem issues, but they continue to find problems with their face because of the issues lies internally within them. This brings me back to Suri's as well as my favorite line. Before talking about aesthetics and pride, do what you can. Being unsatisfied with your work yet continue to making that thing is called torment. It leaves you at the verge of giving up. It makes you think, my work is not worth it at all. I've been there so many times with my journaling, more than I'd like to admit. You keep retweeting, promoting it, yet it feels like you are alone in this world as no one else sees your work. However, by this line, he means that instead of overthinking it, we just have to give it our best shot and live in the present. The unsatisfied pale color turned into a colorful shade of paint through acceptance. With the encouragement of Nigo and everyone, Anna was able to accept and love painting again. Suri wrote Infinitely Grey in such a way that it can be seen as Kanade making a song for Anna to let her know that she is important to Nigo, even if it doesn't meet the approval of others. The feeling of being trapped underwater evokes images of being alone in my eyes. It's just you, the water, and the light that can't seem to reach you. You feel helpless. All of your efforts seem futile. You try to swim, yet the light doesn't seem to get closer. Just like how Anna feels when her artwork didn't satisfy her. This is also a symbol for the barrier of talent according to Sudi, which is something that Anna's father mentioned to her. An internal problem can't be fixed by an external solution. The world of water is Anna's internal world. Speaking of water, there are some water droplets on Anna's train on this blank canvas I paint card. Are these raindrops or tears? I'll leave that for you to decide. 
Nomad also features a lot of water too, which is the impact that Infinitely Grey has on the motif of Anna's Foka song. As for the feeling of being trapped, Anna's train's pale, insatiable color card is trapped within the walls of her art. This may be a reference to the line, I only painted what I wanted. The flowers present on the pale, insatiable color cards are daffodils, which are resilient flowers and represent rebirth and new beginnings. Anna embarks on her new path with the insatiable pale color events, which is why we don't see daffodils on in this blank canvas like paint, as she is already on that new path. Now I want to talk about the 3D MV. Infinitely Grey has to have one of the most unique 3D MVs I have ever seen. From the monochrome color scheme in the grey section of the song previously talked about, to the vibrant petals being thrown around leading to the colorful part, it is simply jaw-dropping and gorgeous. The fountain placed in the middle adds into the water motif that infinitely grey heavily plays into. The petals that Anna throws are yellow and white, the colors of a daffodil. Yellow is the brightest color in the color wheel, with it often being used in warning signs, symbolizing Anna wanting to grab your attention. Their dance moves are expressive as Nigo and V dances go. It wants you to look at them, and I'll hammer this point down until I die. I think it's fantastic that the color appears when the lyrics I cried in the shape of my own dreams. To paint, you need water. In this case, Anna's water is her tears, which I absolutely want to cry thinking about too. At the end of the pale, insatiable color story, Anna draws a girl looking up at the sky after the rain. She says that after listening to Kanade's song, her metal feelings became clear again. Mizuki, who is always at Anna's side, specifically points out that the streak of light shining through the sky is so pretty. This light may be the light shining onto Anna and the others in the 3D MV. To me, this light seems very important to the core message of the song, as Suri also mentions it. Infinitely Grey is a, such a core part of Anna's character that it ties up her other events too. She has grown so much from her beginning to pick up art classes again in on this blank canvas I paint, giving herself another chance even though she's still worried that she's not good enough to be recognized yet. She then grows further while teaching Konami in rainbow canvas to paint that she should paint as she likes and not conform to other people's thoughts. Funnily enough, the name and order of these events directly parallels what happens in the infinitely grey MV. Something interesting to note is how the first anniversary song, Gunjo Sanka, is also called Ultramarine Hymn, is quite literally the opposite of Infinitely Grey. Ultramarine is a vivid shade of blue that calms the eyes. Back in the past, it was valued for its preciousness due to its scarcity. It parallels the line, I was envious of the shade of blue that I saw. My hopes for her third focus are very high. I would absolutely love to see the water motif come back as Water is, of course, essential to the craft of painting. I would love to see her trained, reaching up to the light with determination. Maybe sunflowers as a reference to Van Gogh, or the fact that they follow the sun would also be interesting to see. I think hydrangeas would also fit as they are a rainy season flower that symbolize abundance. The pink ones especially represent heartfelt emotion. Anna's rebirth is that she does things for the sake of doing it, not for the sake of approval of others. My motto is to do what I like, and Anna now does that seeing her in the colorful paint event, hence why she's the channel mascot. Another reason why she's the mascot is because I relate to her a lot. No surprise there, Sherlock. At the time my infinitely grey single arrived, I was preparing for my IGCSEs, which is a very important test. I wasn't the best at the subjects that I chose to take compared to my friends. I studied and studied, yet only got mediocre scores. I was thinking of getting good grades from my parents and teachers, yet I couldn't make them feel proud at all. However, as I listened to Infinitely Grey, it uplifted me. I didn't feel that I was the only one chasing a distant star I'll never reach. All that matters is doing your best first, and to be satisfied with your efforts. I took the exams after a few months. Some of my hard work paid off. I got an A in chemistry, and although I was a bit disappointed with the B I got in business studies, I was content. I did my best not caring about whether I would be worse than my peers or not. It felt like all of my struggles had been vindicated, and it felt so good. Anna is a very resilient character. Although there are times where she is almost at the verge of giving up, she doesn't give in to that feeling. She has people around her to support her, and the picnic event shows that. Remember that in the process of creating something, 
there are people rooting for you. When you fall, do not give up just yet because every daffodil will have its chance to bloom in spring. This is my 100 sub special. I would especially like to thank Kizuzu for helping me with the scripts very much. I also made a Discord server. If you're interested, the link will be down below. Thank you for watching this video and I hope you have a good day.